Apparently, happy Thursday, Facebook world. Um, I'm super excited to come to you live today with my great friend, Dr. Ashley. Dr. Ashley is a boot camper and has an amazing story. Um, and that's why I asked her to join me today because I'm confident that her story is going to resonate with so many of you. Um, we were just we were just going to start a conversation, and I was like, you know what? Let's go live. And here's why. Um, here was where I was going with the conversation. Um, I asked a couple of of trusted confidants in our profession today about um, about the the chiropractic stages, um, and I was asked like, why do you want to be on chiropractic stages? And here is the truth. I want to be on chiropractic stages because I'm 100% confident that there are women in those audiences who don't feel connected, who, who are crying, like screaming inside to be noticed, who are screaming inside to, to have a, a, a tribe of women who genuinely care about them. That is why I want to be on stages because just let me just share with you a, a couple of stories that I've even gotten in the last month, whether it was from a new a, a potential new boot camper who now is a boot camper or from a boot camper. Um, one story was from a boot camper who she and her children um, had to take refuge because she is uh, was being, um, is the victim of domestic violence and she and her children had to take refuge, like real stories. Like that's, it's not something I made up. Like there are women in our audiences who, who are in those situations and have no idea where to turn. Well, because this person knew she could turn to me, now she has a life source. Now, now she has a raft. Now she has like one of those rings that we toss out into the water. So Ashley and I are both big time boaters. So we get the necessity of that ring that hangs on the side of our boat that we can throw out to give that person hope. Another individual shared with me, she's so at the end of the rope that she just doesn't want to take, doesn't want another day of life. Like, these are real stories. That's why I want to be on stages is so that those women who are on the fringe or those women who, you know, whether it was in high school or college, just never felt like they were a part of the in crowd or that they were a part of a group that wrapped their arms around them, that they, that they mattered, that they, they felt like they never fit in. I'm telling you, our tribe is the place for you. There, you matter and you fit in to the boot camp family. I promise you. So, Ashley, back me up with this. What what's been your experience with the boot camp? Oh, yeah, lots of experience. I've been it's a year and a half now. I've been a part of the boot camp. How to think about that? But I love it because I can be as active as I need to be, or as not active as I need to be. Just wherever stage I'm at in the month, it usually changes day to day. And even if I'm not posting on the Facebook page or in the group or anything like that, I just see everyone's messages and it's always keeping me going. So if I have like a low day and all that kind of stuff, I'm like, okay, what's everyone else doing? So that way it just picks me back up. Or if I have a question, like I just threw a question on there today about emails and I got responses back from support and everything like that in like an hour. And so it's just, it just picks you up whenever you need it. It's there when you need it. It's not overcome overbearing if it, you don't want something like that. So it's it's right where you need it to be when you need it to be. Nice. We're always there. Like there's somebody who's always, always active. So let, let's do a comparison. So there are lots of free groups that you could ask the same kind of question. What's the difference between being just in a free women's group and throwing out your questions or your victories that we're going to talk about in just a minute and the boot camp. So you don't know when you're going to get a response when you throw it out there on the free pages. You, someone might not ever see it and you might never get a response or you don't know who's responding and it might be somebody that's completely not aligned with what you're doing and stuff like that. And so it's just totally like different levels of where you're at. And then it just doesn't even help because of that. So, but yeah. and I, and then, you know, you make personal connections with the Facebook, with the 56 day boot camp, And so 
like I have another doctor is about 10 miles from me. And so if I don't, if I see something, I call up and I'm like, Hey, what's going on and stuff like that. So nice. I love that. And, and, you know, I love about the boot camp that we're all dominating our niche and there's plenty of room for all of us. Like we see in the US, they're 2.38% of the population that regularly sees a chiropractor. Pretty sure there's plenty to go around. And so I love that in the boot camp that everyone shares. Like there's no competition of it's not gonna be like, I'm not gonna give that to Ashley because what if she uses it and her practice grows? Well, yeah, that's the whole name of the game. Like we want to, you know, like. Uh, rising tides rise all sh raise all ships, right? So if overall we're changing the culture for chiropractic globally, we're all going to ride that tide. So let's talk about you have a relatively new practice and yet you're getting referrals. Like so many times I think that doctors find it's hard as a new practice to really um, – develop their referral systems because it's like, I don't really know that many people. Let's talk about your new practice and what you're doing to make it so successful. So I hired a virtual assistant last month. Yay. That took me about four months to do, if not more. But, um, <laughs> but so that was able, she's able to go outside and do like the outside marketing and stuff now. And so I can really focus on the inside systems with like the referrals and everything. And learning the conversations that you have, like the pitfall conversation and turning that into asking for a referral and stuff like that. And so that's what I was really been doing for the past month and a half. And at the report of findings, asking for who do you have in the family that needs it and stuff like that. And also I give out articles every day and then there's always Yay! an offer on the back. Or like if I'm doing an event, so you have something to invite them to, um, I always have that. And so I'm like, here, give it after you read this, give this to your friend that needs it. And then there's a gift for you sharing it on. It's usually a free consult or very rarely discount my fees. But for like referrals, I will do it for that because that's a their friend giving them an act of love as well. So that's what I do. So yeah. And, and you can tell, like for those of you who aren't in the boot camp and you don't know the lingo, <laughs> what what Dr. Ashley is saying there. Those are systems in place, right? Like when you have an article, like this is what we do in order to turn it into helping more people. When you do this, like, there, so we're always looking for triggers in our practice, right? Like, so the the end of the report of findings, that's a trigger for the, the family referral request. Um, when, when, we're, when we have an article or a testimony, like those are triggers that, that stimulate another cascade of steps of a system all designed to build a stronger structure in your business so that we don't have to be everywhere and nowhere at the same time so that we don't have to sit there going, Oh my gosh, what do I do today to grow my business? Like, no, we run the systems. We run the systems. We run the systems. We run the systems. So Ash, let's talk about how have implementing those systems in your practice changed your confidence because confidence is a big issue for a lot of chiropractors. And I know when you and I first met, that was a big issue for you. So let's mm -hmm. talk about how has that grown? And how has our relationship and your participation in the boot camp radically shifted your confidence? Oh, a lot because it takes like when you're not sure about it, and you have the systems and you follow it. I even had one point was taping what I was supposed to say to like my adjusting area. So that way I'd be like, Oh, what was I supposed to say? Cause I just didn't have that confidence and I forget what to say at that time. And so it was there, but now I'm just like, you just got to ask. And so that's just, it takes a lot of the scariness out of it. Like I look at targeting every day and then my sticky note systems. And so when I'm going through my daily schedule, I pull this out and I'm like, okay, what am I doing for each one? So I know the conversations I'm having with them before I even have it. And so, yeah, it's taking me from here to here much more effective at communicating. I'm so proud of you. And, and you know what? I'm so excited that you trapped yourself into success by putting those little prompts. If you guys saw my office, I have prompts all over my office that drive me to higher levels of success. That's not weakness. That's strength that I, I, 
I found out what to do, right? I asked my team of coaches, what do I do to get this result? And they said, you do these things. And so now I have prompts, just like Dr. Ashley is talking about. Like there's nothing weak in having prompts because those prompts then cause you to level up, which then like Ashley said, I have better communication. If you're communicating you better, your community rises, right? right? Like it raises to higher levels inside and outside your practice because she has taken upon herself to grow herself, which then grows her business. So let's talk about results. Okay. What's happened since you opened this practice in March of 2018? And and did you go slow? Like, you know, there's so many people who say, oh, it, it's going to take five years to get to profitability or, oh, it's understandable that you're not paying a pay, taking a paycheck because you're new in business or whatever it happens to be. What's your experience been with that? Mindset. I covered my overhead the first month. You and then you I went? covered my overhead the first month. And then um I was taking a paycheck by month four, I think it was. And so oh. I have supported my family completely since month four. And I've just been growing, growing. So yeah. Just my, my first and month. And started taking a paycheck by four. I hope all of you heard that because there are many docs I talk to that have been in practice for decades and are still barely taking a paycheck. And have you consistently been taking a paycheck? Let's get that out of out there because there are individuals who watch this who will be like, okay, so you only did it one month? No, I, so I am the breadwinner for my family. So I pay everything. And so, and I do that all through this business that I am blessed to have. So yeah, I, so since month four, I guess over a year now, it's been just me. Yeah. That is so awesome. I'm so proud of you. So and that's raised my confidence too. So that I'm able to do that for my family. Oh, amen. Like Dr. Ashley as a single mom, isn't just like sitting back at her heels saying, Oh, I hope somebody comes along and rescues me. She's like, forget that. Like, those are my babies. This is my career. This is my brand. And it doesn't take any more time to be successful. Listen no. to me, everybody. It doesn't take any more time to be successful because those minutes are going to go by anyway. So because that 60 seconds is gone, why not make those 60 seconds profitable? Why not make those 60 seconds in alignment with your legacy? You, uh, whether, whether it does not take any more time to be successful. If anything, it gives you back time because it frees up our mindset from strife and stress. Mm -hmm. So Ash, let's talk about how being successful in business has changed your personal life. Oh, I'm more confident in family life too. When I'm at home, I'm at home. My um, boyfriend, I'm a very alpha female. So my boyfriend lets me pay for everything. He gets to do all the fun stuff. So he pays for all of our boats and everything because I'm going to pay for the house stuff. But uh, I get to be more present with my family because everything here is taken care of. I know I'm going to have a paycheck. I know everything's covered. So I get to be like, I'm leaving today at 430. I close the office for my son's football game. Every Yay! Thursday. Yep. And so I'm able to be more present and be the mom I want to be and support and be with them. So, yeah. I love that. So did you hear Dr. Ashley isn't sacrificing her family or what matters to her? She's building her schedule around her family. But that doesn't mean that, oh, my son is a game today. I'm going to take the whole day off for that in the evening because I don't want to be open on Thursdays. No, she's driving hard to profitability and to be successful and then changing her hours in order to go be with her son this evening. Mm -hmm. So this idea that you have to choose between one or the other, that's not true. We get to choose every single minute how we're going to invest that minute. Am I investing in my practice so that I can fund my ideal lifestyle? Am I investing that minute into my family because I'm growing my family at the same time? Am I also taking care of myself? Like we, when, when, and Ash, let me ask you this. 
from your perspective, what made that shift to where you're driving now instead of just kind of like a pinball of, wow, wow, whatever happens? I'm, you know, I'm, I'm circumstances victim. What changed that for you? I, um, I got into a bad partnership beforehand. And so I was a big victim for that. And when I started this business, I was like, I'm not going to be a victim. I'm going to control everything. Well, not control everything, but take action and everything I do purposefully to get where I want to be instead of just kind of letting things happen as they go and letting everyone dictate what I'm going to do. And so that's why, and I mean, I called you before I even opened my practice. Like the first time I realized I was going to practice, I think you were the first call I made after I called my dad. And I was like, ah! Because <laughs> uh, I know I needed that support and that confidence to help me get to where I needed to go. I love that. And, and it wasn't like you were sitting on a big pile of cash and said, okay, now that I can afford it, I'm going to get help. Instead, you said, no, 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 no. I'm jumping in because if I don't, I can't afford it. So can we talk about that? Because I, you know, I regularly or not regularly, I hear docs say, well, I can't afford it. But when I can afford it, I'll do it. And in my mind, to be honest, I'm thinking if you can't afford it now with the level of action that you're taking and what you're doing, how is more of what you're already doing going to change your circumstances? It's not. You have to to choose what's going to be successful and how you're going to choose it. You're going to spend that money regardless. You're not going to save it. Let's be real. We're Americans. We don't really save money um, very often. But you're going to have to choose where you're going to use your money and make it work for you the best. And so that's, I mean, this boot camp has paid for itself 100,000 times. I mean, I don't think I'd be where I'm at today without it. So. That is so awesome. I'm so proud of you. So, so, so very proud of you. And I said, I think you said it perfectly. Like, get real with yourself. You're going to spend that money anyway. So why not invest in yourself? And I spoke about this at Cairo Fest. Like, there's no greater asset in your business than yourself. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, in Dr. Ashley's business, She's the one that's there with her practice members. She's the one that's out in the community. She's the one that is in all of these different things. So sure, she could have a piece of equipment and adjusting people on that equipment produces obviously a, a change in their life and produces money. She's producing value through that adjustment delivered on that piece of equipment. So that piece of equipment is an asset. But without Ashley using that piece of equipment, that equipment has no value in and of itself. It's you, all of you, it's you, 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 you are the greatest investment. You must make the greatest investment in yourself versus anything else in your business if you want to see your business grow. It first starts with you, the individual. So I, I couldn't have said that better, Ash. So Ashley, let's real quickly talk about because the Women's Chiropractic Leadership Boot Camp and VIP Mastermind with Mike Michalowicz is coming up October the 26th at Life University. Why, what's it like being live with the tribe? Oh, it's like no other experience ever. Like I, I went to Cairo Sushi back in June. I don't know where it was, but it was so much fun. And actually seeing everybody that I've talked to it was like they're real people, <laughs> and so it. I feel like I'm connected more, and it it was amazing. Like no words can describe it. Going to the mansion and doing the name, remember everyone the names. That was pretty impressive. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. What a great exercise! Like that was so so much fun. So what she's talking about is um, we 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 all got together and rented a mansion, the boot camp mansion for summer camp. And we did a meetup. Like you didn't have to be staying at, at the, um, at the mansion or be a boot camper to come and meet up before, before summer camp kicked off. And, and you know, part of the big reason I do this before an event is, um, I, I know people go to those events and they're all alone. Like they, they go because they, they bought a ticket and they want to be there, but then they're there and they're alone. They're surrounded by other colleagues, but they're alone. And I never want anyone to feel that way. Like I'm the includer. If I'm going to take a hike 
today, I'll invite 15 girlfriends to go. And even if no one goes, I just want people to know I think about them. Like I'm thinking about you. I, I'd like to spend time with you because I, I know that makes such a difference in people's lives. And so I'm an includer. Um, so at any rate, what we did was we all sat around um, this, this big family room at the mansion. And I said, let's get to know each other. So we went around the room and there were probably, I don't know, 30 of us at least, I would say. And and so the first person like said their name, where they were from, um, and then we moved around the room. And when it was your turn, you had to say your own name and everybody who came before you. And I did this actually at Sherman College for the the, the mingle for students before. And, and part of it was I wanna teach everybody, you can remember people's names. Like if you wanna stand out, and any event, remember people's names. In your practice, remember people's names. We memorized so much crap going through chiropractic college and national boards that none of you can tell me, I'm just not good at remembering names. You remember the name of every muscle. You remember the name of every vertebral level. You remember the name of every organ in the human body. You can remember people's names. Change your dialogue with yourself and start telling yourself, I'm great at remembering people's names because it's important. That's the shift. All right, so Ash, as we sign off, what message do you have to someone who's listening today who has been sitting on the sidelines and hasn't joined our tribe yet? What do you, like, it's just you and her. What do you tell her? I'll invest in yourself. I mean, that's what it is. Investing in the boot camp is investing in yourself and your future and going to where you want to be. Do you want to be breaking even forever or do you really want to be successful, not just money-wise, but time-wise and family-wise, whatever you measure success at, that's, it's really just investing in yourself. Are you worth it? I love that. And we want to say hi to some of our boot camp gals. Dr. Melinda is with us and Dr. Helen and Dr. Robin. Um, so I, I can't see lower than that. I apologize. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone, for being with us. That says that we have actually 15 viewers. So if you want us to do a shout out, give us a thumbs up or give us a heart, give us a share. Um, and I am asking all of you to do this. Listen, if you don't buy your ticket to the Women's Chiropractic Leadership um, Boot Camp and the VIP Mastermind with Mike Michalowicz by tomorrow, you won't get our super cool logoed boot camp swag bag. That swag bag is also going to be filled with all kinds of super cool stuff from our um, from some of our strategic partners as well as speakers. Um, if you haven't bought your ticket because you're just procrastinating, Myra is even posting her cell phone number in the boot camp that you can call and she'll just like ask you, do you want me just to just use the credit card that I have? Um, and it can be done within 30 seconds. So get yourself there. I like, I can't emphasize this enough. And just so you guys know, the VIP mastermind with Mike McCallowitz is off the hook. Like to have a, um, to have a, uh, um, that level of entrepreneur who is there and will take a look at your business and you can get to know them. Um, you can get to know him and have your picture taken with him and have time with them and, and get two keynotes with him as well as a potential hot seat. You are cuckoo in the brain not to go. Like I, I promise you, you are going to have so much FOMO by not being there. Um, if it wasn't true, I wouldn't say it. But it's really and really true. It's so true that you must be there. So change your plans. Whatever you're doing October the 26th, I promise you, pales into comparison to how much this is going to impact your future. So get your ticket, 56daychirobootcamp.com forward slash summit. We'll be sure and, and post the links in here. If, if you just feel like you're so busy, you don't want to go through the funnel to grab your ticket message Myra, you can text her, you can shoot her a message. She will literally get on the phone and take care of you. So Ashley, thank you so much. Um, I can't wait to see you again soon. And congratulations on your massive growth. Keep it up, girl. Thank you. You're welcome. See you later. Have a great day, everybody. God bless you. Bye. Thank you.